At six, the first flight taking asylum seekers to Rwanda is due to leave the UK in the next few hours. This is the plane expected to fly them out of a military base in Wiltshire, but only a handful may be on board. We think it's a, a sensible partnership we set up with Rwanda. Yes, it may, it may take a while uh, to, to get working properly, but it doesn't mean we're not going to keep going. Today, more than 300 people arrived in Dover after they managed to cross the channel illegally in small boats. Will the flights to Rwanda deter people from attempting the dangerous crossing? Also on the programme. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon kicks off a new campaign for another vote on Scottish independence. A memorial service at Westminster Abbey for the 72 people who died in the Grenfell Tower disaster five years ago today. The Yorkshire seaside town of Whitby votes to restrict the number of second homes for holidaymakers. And he hits it hard. He hits it to the cover point boundary. And a thrilling win for England as they beat New Zealand by five wickets to take the Test Series. Coming up in Sports Day, later in the hour on BBC News, we'll have the latest from the Nations League. Three home nations playing, including Scotland, who are facing Armenia in Yerevan. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six from our new studio at Broadcasting House. A flight to for some eastern areas around 30 to 33 degrees a very hot day indeed wow matt thank you very much i'm going to head over here now because that is it from the bbc news at six on tuesday the 14th of june you can of course keep up to date with all the latest developments on the bbc website uh, from the six team it is goodbye but the news continues right here on bbc one because it's now time to join our colleagues across the nations and regions for the news where you are goodbye